What is BRAF, RAS, such as KRAS and NRAS? Can these genes be mutated? Are there other mutated genes associated with myeloma? And how are gene mutations determined? Individual genes may have just a single code change, a mutation. That is a single change in a gene that can now cause that gene to function differently. Now you'll notice that in this slide I'm showing how common some of these are. And look at the top of the list is what's called KRAS and NRAS. Through research and understanding and testing what these genes do, we now understand that the RAS genes signal cells to divide and proliferate. And it's a normal gene in the normal genome, but in myelomas, oftentimes that gene is mutated and it's mutated so that that gene functions at a higher level. Functioning at a higher level means it's signaling that cell to divide and proliferate at a higher level. That's what tumor cells do. That's what we don't want them to do. So there are a couple useful pieces of information here. One is we start understanding which genes contribute to the myeloma trait of its proliferation or maybe it's migration to the marrow, but it also gives us another useful piece of information. If I can block that KRAS gene and stop it from overacting, I might have an effective therapy. So in fact, a lot of research at academic institutions and at pharma companies are trying to develop drugs that will specifically target the genes that are mutated in myeloma so that the drug will stop that gene from functioning. And so there's a lot of research being done. You'll see a gene there called BRAF. There's actually a good therapy uh, drug for the treatment of tumors that have BRAF mutations. So this is also giving us information based on the genetic mutations as to how aggressive the disease might be and what, their, what effective therapeutics there might be or what targets we should be testing to try to treat this disease. That's all research being done at the background of genetic information. A lot of what we've talked about uh, has been you know, whole chromosome or um, um, changes in expression, uh, but there are some mutations um, which don't change the expression of a gene, but they change how it functions. Um, and the, the most famous ones would be uh, KRAS, NRAS, uh, BRAF, and uh, some patients, in fact, with FGF receptor 3, um, they'll get a, a single nucleotide, uh, a single amino acid gets changed in that protein and it activates it so that the, the, uh, the gene is like constantly on, constantly signaling, and it's constantly signaling growth. And so it's like putting your, your foot on the accelerator and it's telling, it's, it's giving a signal to the cell that it should divide. There's, uh, in a lot of other cancers, um, we can, there are targeted therapies which inhibit um, these activated uh, proteins called kinase inhibitors. And um, so far, there, there don't seem to be any that are working particularly well in multiple myeloma, but it has been a hope that we would find some targeted therapy that would um, be active against uh, these mutations. How would I know if I have one of these gene mutations? The only way that, that you'd find out if you've got a point mutation in um, almost any, any gene in multiple myeloma, like KRAS or NRAS or BRAF or P53, um, would be if you had uh, sequencing done. Ne it typically would be next generation sequencing. Um, and you would you'd want to include a, a, a variety of genes because you know, mo the, the, only a few genes are commonly mutated. So NRAS and KRAS, that would be about 20% each. But then the other genes are 10% you know, or less. And so you really need to sequence a lot of genes in order to, to identify which ones might be mutant in a given individual. What is precision medicine? And what that means is to take drugs which are active maybe in other cancers against a given mutation and apply them to multiple myeloma patients that share the same mutation. Those studies are very difficult to do because any given mutation tends to be quite uncommon. Um, but they, they are being done. Uh, one study 
that, that's going on nationwide is called My Drug from the Multiple Myeloma Research Consortium. Uh, there's a study from the National Cancer Institute called TAPUR, T-A-P-U-R. Um, and these, these are very large studies which have brought together a number of different drugs and the patient has their tumor sequenced and then uh, the drug which matches that patient's mutation is used in the clinical trial. Um, but I would say uh, to date the, the, uh, uh, that, res that approach um, has shown a, um, a lot of hurdles, a lot of difficulty in getting it done and it hasn't had a lot of successes. Uh, in multiple myeloma. And so I think we really need to, um, you know, we need to do more studies before we can see if that's ready for prime time. If a myeloma patient has a BRAF mutation, can they be treated with a BRAF inhibitor that is used in another cancer? Yeah, there's some data from a few case studies where uh, the patient has a transient response. Uh, and, but the issue is that the patient who's got a BRAF mutation, typically that's in a subclone, and there's another subclone that doesn't have a BRAF mutation. And so when you treat with the inhibitor, you just allow the other subclone to grow.